Hey everybody, welcome back to WSAV's The Bridge, where the conversation never stops. So this one is going to be a little fun. We're talking about The Carmichael Show. It follows the life and the, of stand-up comedian Gerard Carmichael as he finds his way with his family who is uh, pretty heavily opinionated. Yeah, to say the least. The show has been <laughs> described as all in the family for the new millennium. Mm, that's putting it lightly. Yeah, Let's take so. a look right now. I'm sure grandma doesn't care what color skin mom has. Yes, she does. <laughs> she always thought if I could marry lighter that you boys would have an easier time to make it in the world. You see, kids, sometimes racism stems from a place of love. Comedy's value is backed by tension, and it needs truth, and it needs a sometimes harsh reality in order to be genuinely funny. I know it's hard, honey, and I know it's a lot. But I'm serious about ending my life, and I need your blessing. Uh-oh, snickerdoodles ready. Oh, it is great to finally be back. We have one of those shows where it really is fan-built. People found it, and they still want some more. My snickerdoodle cookies. OK, let's start talking game plan for how we're going to kill me. The Carmichaels is just like any typical American family. Hey, we gonna have our beef. I don't see the way you see things, but at the end of the day, I still love you. You still my family. Mama, I might be a raper. You a raper? Bobby, I didn't raise you to be no raper. Hold on, everybody. Before we go any further, the correct word is rapist. The truth first, the comedy always, but the truth is what we try and stick with. You really don't be able to sleep at night knowing you stood by and watched someone that you love take their own life. What's the other option? Forcing her to live a life against her will? You're damn straight! I've been doing that for years! The intention being to really explore a topic and really have a conversation about it. Strap on your seatbelts. We got a new rap for you. You should get a verbal yes for consent. Then there are no questions. <laughs> That's not the rules for sex. That's the rules for emergency exit, Rosita. If a man wants sex and a woman says yes out loud, well, that just makes her a dirty whore. That's pretty oh, good. Oh, my. All right. So, Loretta Devine, of course, incredibly funny and amazing, just like the rest of the Carmichael Show cast. And we are super <laughs> excited right now because joining the conversation, the star of the show himself, Gerard Carmichael. <laughs> Dude, we are so excited to have you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. What are you guys doing? What are you guys talking about over there? You know what? We have had a show that's been a little insane today, but right now we want to talk about you. Not only are you the star. No, 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 wait, no, no, wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, before, wait, wait, before we go to the show, mm -hmm. what happened that's insane? What's going on that's insane? Talk right, to me. All right, can we just talk about I Molly the Hatchet, news. which is a southern rock legend. They are playing here in town tonight. I had the fellas, uh, three of the fellas from the band on set, and I just couldn't even keep up. My head was swiveling the whole time, so. Molly, stars, it's, wait, Molly Hatchet? Yes. That's a hell of a name. Ooh, <laughs> that's a hell, that's, oh, that sounds aggressive. We're talking, their, their <laughs> biggest um, song was Flirting with Disaster, but a couple of the guys also played with Leonard Skinner, so it was a little nuts. Why are we, why are we not just listening to Molly Hatchet play? <laughs> Because we want to talk about you. That sounds great. Now, number one, congratulations right. I'm not, on a I'm third not as cool. Season. I don't, oh, my no. name isn't as cool. <laughs> you got this. A third season. What was it like to get renewed, picked up again? Uh, you know, it was fun. It just means a lot of work for me. Everybody's really excited. And then I go, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to be locked in a cave writing a thing for months. <laughs> so it's fun. <laughs> it's exhausting. But I'm, I'm really happy with how the season uh, turned out. I think it's... It's my favorite season of television ever. Well, we That's a bold statement. Loved. I'm a little biased. You know what? You can be biased about this show, but when we talk about some tough subjects, that's what you're tackling in every single season and again, even with this premiere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the thing is, I don't think television has to be a mindless thing. I don't think that uh, people should turn off their brains and their consciousness when they sit down to watch characters. I think that, you know, it, it can be uh, something that provokes thought and, 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 and inspires, you know, uh, discussion amongst you and your family. So, you know, that's what we try and do. You know, these subjects, you know, it's not that they're crazy subjects. They're just things that you talk about in your everyday life. There's things you talk about with your friends and coworkers, and like we don't want you to just turn your mind off because you're watching a television uh, comedy. So, 
it's fun us to just be as real as we can and, and you know, as adult as we can. Yeah, put it so, out there. So you say be as real as we can. We were watching that piece before we came to you. We were rolling, laughing. How? Talk about your cast members for a second. How do you guys keep it together? I mean, we, we laughed for a minute straight. I mean, how do you guys keep it together? We, we don't. I mean, that's what editing <laughs> is fair. for. We laugh a lot. It's a lot of laughing. I mean, it's, I, you know, just this great cast of Lil Rel, just a brilliant comedian, and David Allen Greer and Loretta Devine and Amber Stevens, and, and, and everyone's just so amazing. You know, Tiffany Haddish, they're all individually just funny, you know, and, and, and on and off camera, we just, we laugh a lot. That's awesome. <laughs> a lot. Can you give us any insight? Obviously, you know, the premiere is the 31st. We know that's going to be a pretty rough show, but what about the entire season? You know what my favorite episode was that we did this season was uh, the first one we taped, actually. Uh, my grandmother finds out she has Alzheimer's and decides to end her own life. Oh. I know that doesn't sound funny. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it doesn't sound funny at all. I promise you it's the most hilarious episode. It's so, it's good. I mean, it's fun to just uh, take these very real things and just kind of uh, mind humor from the situations around them. So I think it gets very real and very honest and it gets heavy at times and it's really funny, I think. So I hope people watch it. I hope people enjoy it. Hey, I gotta ask you, you ever been to Savannah? <laughs> Put him on the spot. You know, right I haven't been to Savannah. No, I, no, I haven't been to Savannah. You're I, missing wh out. What's the first place, where should, where should I eat? Okay, so listen, <laughs> I've been here for like a month now. The first thing I ate yeah. when I came here was this thing called a praline, this big old hunk of candy with pecans in it. Oh my yeah. goodness. It, listen. Well, let me ask you where, are you, where are you coming from? Uh, I just came here from Cincinnati. I'm from mm -hmm. Pittsburgh originally. I'm also a Buckeye from Columbus, oh, wow. Ohio. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm happy to be here. I'll tell you what, though, man. The weather here is sweltering hot. The weather's amazing. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah, we're yeah, right by the, the beach. <laughs> but yeah. here's the deal. I'm giving you an open invitation. When you come visit, because you need to do it, you need to come sit in my co-host chair, sir. What do you think? Oh, that is, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't really have the, the, the temperament. You know, you, you guys the get the, like, you got, because you guys get that you got to, and you process, like, murder and rape and just, and, and stories about darkness and missing children, and then, like, you, then you smile afterward, and I'm just like, I would just sit there and be like, no, 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 no. people, somebody was murdered this morning. Like, Listen, who was you're keeping like, us I, I'm not today. able to lose. Yeah, I'm not able to, like, switch focus <laughs> like you guys. I, I don't know how yeah. you do it. It's insane. I think how many murders? It. How many murders have happened today? Are we what's not the count? today? Not today, but it's been yeah. It's been a new oh, congratulations, day. Congratulations, Savannah. <laughs> hey, you've you've helped keep happy, us honest happy today. Happy murder free it. Friday. <laughs> Thanks, Gerard. Have a good one, man. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate we wish you con man. continued success in all you yeah. do. <laughs> All right, guys, again, you can watch that premiere of The Carmichael Show May 31st right here on WSAV. The one-hour season three premiere starts at 9 p.m. here on WSAV. So yesterday, you'll remember, mm -hmm. Red Nose Day, right? Yeah, we had them. <laughs> we all had them. Mine's still on my desk. I can go get it real <laughs> That cause, of course, um, dedicated to wiping out childhood poverty. Folks in Liberty County also getting together to support the cause. Yeah, pretty cool here. A luncheon was held at the old Liberty County Courthouse in Hinesville. There was a donation taken for lunch, about five bucks or whatever you could spare. Now, our local business gave a check for $50. An event organizer, Annie Torres, found out about the organization through Facebook. I just saw a video the other day and it really touched my heart because the young man didn't have a mother. And Red Nose helped him get to school, got shoes, clothes, books. And he was really happy about that because his mother had passed away. Even a UPS driver making a delivery got in on the fun, taking his lunch hour with the group. They raised a total of 250 bucks. All of that goes to a really great cause. And remember, folks here in Savannah were also celebrating Red Nose Day. Yes. Got a couple of pictures posted on my Facebook page that are from Memorial Hospital. The folks at Memorial also getting in on that amazing chance to uh, try to combat, you know, Childhood poverty. Anything there helps. I messed up the iPad. It's That's, okay. It's okay. We got it. Anything <laughs> helps. And as we head into the holiday weekend, a very friendly reminder to Yeah, you. Memorial Day is about much more than just beach time and barbecues. We are honoring the men and women who passed away serving in the United States military. And every year, the VFW Post 4392 remembers the fallen by giving away buddy poppies. Yeah, they are handing out the poppies and taking donations in front of the Highway 80 Walmart in Savannah today and tomorrow. Of course, that symbolizes the sacrifices made by those who were killed. Organizers say it is, of course, an important reminder of the price paid.
All right, guys. We're so glad you were here with us today. And, of course, Ben, it was so much fun. I had a blast. Thank you. Yeah. we got to go. See you Tuesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>